It's been 84 years. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Ant Holifer YouTube video. Today, I have a massive box right here with some ants inside. So I've just had to move into the living room because as you can see, this package is absolutely enormous. And fun fact, the first ant colony and the first ant starter set and everything I ever got was from Ant Store World of Ants. And as you can see, we are looking at another Ant Store World of Ant package. Now today they go under a little bit of a different name. They have the Ant Tube name, which is their product line as far as I'm understanding everything. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see what's inside. We have a lot of protection. So I actually thought that you had to do some kind of interesting pulling away, but it's very simple. You get these big chunks here. So yeah, very nice unboxing experience. Everything seems to be inside this massive glass container. It looks so nice and clear. If I get a little close up here, see it's really clear glass, which is just lovely. No fingerprints to see. Uh, also, Nothing is broken, so yeah, so far so good. Now I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, which is not a secret. In here we should have a complete Weaver Ants starter set uh, with the Polyrachis species, Polyrachis dives living inside. Oh, look at all of these nice things. You can start to see a little bit of the insides. I do want to say, oh, hang on, this is the lid, of course. So the setup is now standing upright like it's meant to do, um, and as we go closer and more into the setup, I do want to say one thing. Since I started ant keeping all the way back in 2018 and I got my first ant store products, um, I have not had a single outworld that I've actually competed in quality and how easy it is to look inside. Uh, if you just come a little bit closer here, you can see this is the lid of the outworld. Of course, I'll, I'll, we have ants inside and all sort of stuff, but what I always really love is you have a big lid where you can put anti-escape preventing all the way around. And then for ventilation, you get this top lid here that just sits on top. Uh, I've, I've always been a fan of this. Um, yeah, well, just I've always been a fan. <laughs> oh, and also, just because it's glass, you get a much clearer vision than through the typical acrylic outworld. And then I'm guessing that we have the ant colony right in here. So, yeah, let's just check. Hang on. They're walking around in there? Well, well that's unexpected. I can see it, uh, it has some tape on top here. So, yes, so here we have the colony. A Polyrachis dives. I don't know if I remember to say that or not. But yeah, you can see here, these are the weaver ants and they have already been weaving their nest entrance. So that is very nice looking. Now, because these are weaver ants, they have these very different homes. If you don't know weaver ants, well, I'm glad to blow your mind uh, because they actually live in these balls in nature they live in under in i guess between the roots and stuff like that and they pretty much use their larvae to actually weave their home uh, kind of like you also have the green weaver ants um the i'm not gonna try to pronounce that name as you can hear and and they live in the leaves and spin the leaves uh, and this is the polyrachis species most polyrachis species are weaving underground or near the ground so that's what we have right here um I'm just going to take everything out. We have a nice little poster here. I think it's the background image. Uh, but I'm just going to continue just removing everything. Oh, that's very nice. That's a full set of all kind of interesting things here. So I'm just going to put it aside and continue removing stuff here. This is an interesting little thing. So yeah, this, it's very, it's a little weight here at the bottom. So it's very heavy. So it can stand like this. That's cool. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So we now have everything packed out and I just want to give a little look here at the well, the main their home. This here is where the weaver ants will live. So of course we have the lid and everything. And um, once again, it is very premium quality. There's one thing. The lid is like sit, sitting on top slide and a little bit around. Uh, it's not a major thing, but it's just for your information. We can also see that you know what ways to face the front because we have a little ant cube. Logo engraved into the glass. Again, this is the nice lid where you can actually come in and work, where we have a massive working area. Um, if you look at other products, they have a little bit of a smaller working area, but here it's very easy to come in and out. Uh, and you're still able to provide this escape prevention. So the first thing we have is this soil rain forest, 1000 grams, also known as one kilo. Then we have this. 
uh, fixin points for the cover. Interesting. That this is the thing. You get a lot of these small things, and I want to make sure I understand what they are meant for, and not just guess because. We have a lot of specialized things such as this. I think this is a little liquid feeder, a little liquid tower perhaps. This here is so you can apply an escape prevention. These are very nice. You simply just put a little bit of escape prevention and then you can simply go around like so. Get all the way into the corners and get all the way around. Now I tend to just use cotton, but these are the fighter, fighter against cotton. And I guess these are better to use because you, you don't throw out all this cotton because well, you can just keep use, reusing these. So we have the escape prevention applier, and then we have the escape prevention itself. So what we're looking here at is some uh, amnesia, Deutsch, uh, German uh, words. It's escape prevention, that much I know of, because again, I've used the products in the past. Now then we have this. These are some hydrometers and some temperature measurements, I'm guessing. So we have around 20 degrees in here, 19, 20. Also why the ants won't be in the room for very long, because we want the polyrackers to be heated. And we have 70% so humidity inside this little plastic bag here. So it's very nice with some analog measurements, I guess it is. Uh, although some people may prefer the digital measurements. Um, and then I'm thinking, what is more precise? Is the digital more precise than the analog? Because the analog is like... I, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards saying analog measurements may be better than because they may be more precise. I don't know, but you can see here, this is the mesh you put here in the top, so you have ventilation. And again, this is some of the things I really love with the outwells, because you get a well flowing outwell. You get a lot of humidity flowing in and out. Maybe that's not what we want in this specific setup. Depends on what species you're putting inside, but it's a steel mesh here and it's been glued on so the ants can't get in or out, which is very nice. Let's continue unboxing what we have right here. So we do get some stainless steel tweezers, I do believe they're called. Some ant handling tweezers. These are always lovely. Of course, these are meant so you can go ahead and grab some small things. Uh, and as you can see, it's hard to grab things that are not ant because they take a very soft grip. So it's very hard to get something that's heavy because, well, they're not meant to pick up heavy things. They're meant to just pick up ants very gently without squishing them. So I love these and I definitely recommend if you don't have them, get some of them. So the next thing we have is this blanched crickets. I'm unsure how you pronounce it, um, but it is some su supplement feed. It is softened exoskeletons for easier digestion. So it is crickets in here. And I guess it's, a, it's a, well, if you just follow what it says on the side, it's a softer exoskeleton. So it's easier for the ants to eat it, which is nice because uh, crickets are quite tough for some species to get inside of, and this helps them to get inside easier. Then we have another pair of tweezers. And um, this pair of tweezers is very different to the other pair um, because this is meant to grab ants and it's very easy to pick up like it's it's very gentle work whereas this is more heavy duty like picking up a feeding dish um, and I'll just unbox it in a second. Honeydew? Oh nice! So we have some sugar right here for the ants so that is also very lovely. It's a whole uh, you really get a lot of things right here you can see right here it's, it is the honeydew uh, mix 10 millimeters 10 milli milliliters, that's what it's called. Um, so in this data set, you can see we get some escape prevention. We also get some both some protein and some sugar, which is really lovely if you are new to the hobby. If we continue, we... Oh, happy pet. Very nice, very nice. Also happy pet. And we get, I think this is once again the feeding dishes. I think this is for liquid feeding, I believe. So you can put in, you can put in your honeydew, put it in here, and then the ants can come in here and drink from it. We have a little, oh, see, I was waiting to see. I'm going to unbox this straight away because I'm curious to see how this actually works. This here, you can see here we have some magnets. Like so. And this is then to place all of your different feeding accessories or whatever. So you can place it in here. And then I'm just going to be very, very gentle here. Very nice. Very nice. So it's ideal to put it at a corner where you get both sides. But now you then can place all of your different things. So that's really cool. You can place it high up so it's easy to go in and do maintenance, take the food out. And of course, with a weaver ant, polyracus species, they will generally be a lot of climbing up and down, which is just perfect. I really love this. I love uh, using magnets and products. I think the ant community does it too little. So again, this is meant to be in a corner like so, because then you get 
both sides of magnets to work. All right, let's continue. So then we have some smaller ventilation here. I wonder what this is for. And then we get a little magnifying glass so you can actually read what's, what does it say here. This natural colored premium ant substrate suits most ant species hand collected and washed. Wow. Final thing we have in here is another one of these small feeding dishes. We also have a lovely little background poster which will help give a little bit of a more exotic vibe. Um, so that's very nice. I'm gonna see if there's a good way to straighten this out. But yeah, we have a poster and we just have a few final things. We get a little thank you for your order. Your satisfaction is very important to us. Therefore, please do not hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or requests. Of course, we are also happy about your support. For example, by recommendations and good ratings. And then you can see they are on a lot of the different social medias. And we actually get a user manual. Should I just look in that? I think I should. Uh, instead of trying to go on the YouTube video and see, I'm gonna see if, if how user friendly that user manual is. <laughs> and now finally we have this. I really don't know what this is. Is this for the lid? I'll have to find out. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just tried to estimate how to make all of this. I will just reach out to Anstor and send them a message to make sure I do everything correctly. Um, as you can see, I've now put on the lid. Um, first of all, I found out what the, the one thing I didn't understand was these before. I didn't understand where they went, but that was of course to plug out the sides. You can also see I've now attached the hydro, whatever it's called, so you can read the temperature and you can read the uh, you can read the temperature and the humidity. And this is just it comes with a little bit of uh, double sided tape, and it's it wiggles here, but it's it's the tape is stuck on, so I. I not something to worry about, I think. Um, I had one issue or one one question. Again, I will just reach out to Anstor before I'm adding the ants tomorrow uh, because I was unsure what this here was for. Um, but <laughs> while I was recording this video, I'm like, I really don't like putting glass on like a table here because it sounds really bad. And I'm quite sure that this is just meant to be like both potentially a vibration absorber, but also, uh, so now you have a flat surface and you can actually push the setup around without glass and potentially rocks or sand or whatever may be on the table. No connection now because we have this little protection. So that is a really big plus for me. Um, this here is of course the just a simple water tower. Now I'm really curious to see how these actually work because you have some cotton here and the water comes down through the cotton and I'm unsure how the ants actually get into the cotton. You can see there's like these walkways things here but I'm a little bit unsure how the ants actually get in there which I'll be curious to find out. Um, so that, that's really interesting. And then we of course have this, this one here. I didn't understand what this here is for, but through a little YouTube check, I think this is simply just a feeding dish. Potentially this is meant to also be used without cotton. Although I don't think it is. I don't think it is, no, because it goes under. So I think this is meant to be with cotton because cotton allows the water to seep through without the ants actually getting through the other way, at least until they eat it. Um, so this is a simple, just a feeding dish where you can feed your crickets or whatever. Um, so that's really nice. Um, you can also see I've attached the, I've attached my little feeding platform here. And then we have this little sugar feeder or for the more small feeds. Um, now again, before, before I'm putting the ads in, I want to double, make sure I do everything correctly. But I think um, this tree here is meant to just, you're meant to just put this here. And of course, once you have sand in here, it will be a lot more stable. Uh, I'll put sand all the way up to the size of the tree. So we just disconnect this. I've, I've just poked it through. I think that's how you're meant to do it. Uh, I couldn't I couldn't actually find this on the website uh, because I could find the setup of the weaver ants for the green weaver. So you could just put a plant in here and then the green weavers can live in here because, well, you can just put water on the plant or whatever and then you can have a money tree or whatever you think is, will work well. Um, so I'll just put sand all the way up to the tree here and then I'll put back the ball here. I think it's like meant to do that. Again, I'm just going to reach out tomorrow to make sure, but I think this looks really cool. Um, but that's also why I double want to double check. The background here, another tiny thing I want to make sure I'm doing correctly. Um, as far as I can tell, it's just meant to be here in the background here. But I don't know if you're just meant to put it on with a little bit of sellotape perhaps. I think, I, I think that's what I will do, just put a little bit of sellotape perhaps, 
uh, but I do think it, it gives a nice, nice little vibe. It may just be not, it may not be for everyone. I've not actually done this with any of my setups, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go all in and I'm gonna do it just like Ant Store wants me to try it out. So I'm gonna put out with this, um, with this cool background here. Um, so yeah, what I'll do now is I'll skip a day and tomorrow I'll do a lot more work, but I'm just gonna go in and feed the ants and make sure that the queen is also alive because, well, that is quite important. But yeah, my first thoughts here is this is a really premium, premium quality. It's like, it's very nice quality. Yeah, this is really, I just love the looking of glass. The glass just looks so much more smooth than acrylic. And of course, glass comes with a higher price because you get this both a little bit more of a fragile, you, you, you can smash it, but you can also do that with acrylic. But you just get such a clear view inside. So this girl here just said that, of course, the way the ants get the drinking is because they can actually go in here and touch right, hang on, hang on, with <clears throat> right here. They can actually come down and touch the cotton. Can I show that? Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I thought that was that. I, I thought this was the way in, but of course this here's the way in. So this here's the way they get down to the cotton and they can actually drink from... Shh. Uh, so this is the way they can come down and drink from the cotton. Okay, I have just done an unboxing right here, and uh, there's a few things I've just given me a little bit of roaches. Uh, there's a few things I want to say that this here, um, so the box was closed with some sellotape or some tape, paint, paint tape, I don't know what's called in English. Um, and there was also some tape going running across right here, which was also very nice. And you can also see it's hot glued down. Uh, and also it had this here. So it was well protected. And I was scared that the ants were just going to escape. Uh, but there is actually some anti-escape all the way around. So I was scared for a second when I saw this. Um, but yeah, it's all very nice, uh, nice packed. Um, now in here, I've been looking for the queen for a very long time. Uh, and I had to go in and Google and see how the queens actually looked. And I have seen a queen. Hello here from day two of the unboxing. I am in the middle of setting up the setup over there. But I just came to look for the queen ant in the colony right here. And what's really interesting is I thought I would give them a little bit of extra heat, as you can see. And if we just slightly go in here and actually look inside, can we get some focus? Where was the queen? I just saw her, I do believe. Yes, right there. That is the queen. So the queen is alive and healthy. You can see they're in all sort of attack mode. Okay, so it is now day number two and I have been in contact with Ant Store and I just wanted to make sure I understood everything correctly and well, I actually did, so that was quite surprising. So I've not now put the entire setup together. And um, of course this background is optional, whether you like it or not. I think it's quite cool and I want to go with the official vibe. Um, the funny thing is like the one concern I've always had about this art world is, is that you could push it aside like I showed in the beginning of the video. Now what's really funny is these little, uh, what are they called? The little knobs, uh, the little knobs that had some two-sided tape on well it's just one-sided tape i guess but yeah those little knobs are actually meant so i actually can't do this anymore so they fixed my problem without me even saying it to them so that's really cool because with the old outworlds i've had some old versions and um, that's well that's always been my concern but yeah this is now the full starter set actually assembled and all we need to do is put the ants inside so let's just go through what i've actually received right here so this here is the setup fully assembled. As you can see, we have sand here at the bottom. I tried to like push it down and create a little bit of a heel. Of course, we have the little tree here with the little weight in the bottom that's holding up the ball here. So that's of course where the colony is meant to live in the future, of course. I don't really know how I'm gonna move them in, especially now that they're actually not in the test tube. So I'll have to figure that out. But I think I'll put the test tube like pointing up the tree and hopefully make the column just move up and in. But you can't force it, that's the only thing. But yeah, you can see here we have now, we have the like the sensor and everything. It's 20 degrees in there, it's a little bit weird. Uh, it's a little bit hotter in here, but maybe it's just inside the room here. We have around 60% humidity. So yeah, that's, that's the inside. And you can really start to see here, I have the feeding dish and everything put here just to see if everything fit and it does fit. And again, this one here is meant for water. And that's what I showed yesterday that the ants can come in and drink from the cotton. 
This one here is also made for water or sugar or whatever you want. I think I'll put sugar in this one. And then this one here, you can either put sugar or you can remove the cotton and it's just a simple feeding dish. And of course, these are held in place with these magnets here, which do look very nice. We have the two ventilations holes down here. Uh, this was what I didn't understand what was meant for in the beginning, but this is just for the ventilation holes. So like we have ventilation here and here, also up here at the top. And you can, of course, also just swap these for tubes if that's what you want. So that's one thing that's quite interesting with the Anstor way of actually connecting tubes. Normally, you just push the tube in and then it's a done deal, but with Anstor products or Ancube products, um, I know you at least can get this wire. You have this little, this little thing that you push the cable inside and then you twist it. It's actually something you use to make everything waterproof with electrician. So if we have a junction box outside, you use these little things. So it's a watertight, it's a good seal. Um, so I really like that you can use this for the tubes because it ensures that you have an easy way to connect it. You simply just push the tube inside and then you tighten it. It also allows you to both have bigger tubes and smaller tubes, of course, within the variety that the size is, but it's very nice that you don't need this specific 10 by 13 millimeter tube or whatever you want. You can use a little bit bigger and smaller, which in the past when I've used the Anstop products have been a really nice detail. So to end off the video, I have now put the test tube up, as you can see, and uh, the ants are now exploring the new home with the ball and everything. And I do want to say all one thing. Through this entire unboxing and setting up the experience, I haven't really had anything to complain about. A few things that are in German are a little bit hard to understand, like the escape prevention, but overall you can, it's quite easy to get the information you need to make sure you're doing everything correctly. Um, and to be honest, I've been very impressed. I mean, I haven't received Anstor products in like four years or something. So it's a very positive first try here, and I'm really excited to see how the Polyracus dives are doing in here. Um, I mean, of course you are getting a premium here and you're also paying what I would say is a little bit of a premium. But yeah, this has been my first look at this Polyrakis Dives bundle set um, that is available on the Ant Store site. There's a link in the description for that if you want to check it out. Um, and yeah, just want to say thank you all very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. And um, yeah, I'm getting back to making some big regular, more regular videos. It's the plan, so... Welcome back, Antolfer. Thank you very much, Antolfer. Um, yeah, goodbye, guys. Bye!